Unless you're a cartographer, you've probably just seen this map of the world and taken it to be an accurate representation. What if I told you that actually a more accurate geographical representation looks a little more like this? Cartographers have struggled to find the most accurate map to depict our world for centuries. Because the Earth is a sphere, it's virtually impossible to depict a 100% accurate map. Just think of trying to flatten an orange peel without tearing, squashing, or stretching it. Distortions of maps have to happen either in terms of shape, distance, direction, or land area. The most common map we see on a day-to-day -day basis is the Mercator projection, which was created in 1569 by the Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator for the purpose of navigation along colonial trading routes. The major benefit of this projection is that it preserves angles and directions and is therefore suitable for navigation at sea. Aside from this benefit, there's absolutely no reason the Mercator projection should be used for any other purposes, especially due to its grave distortions. To be precise, the Mercator projection inflates the sizes of regions according to their distance from the equator. This means that the sizes of Europe, North America, and Russia are greatly exaggerated compared to South America, South Asia, and Africa. For instance, Greenland and Africa appear to be the same size in the Mercator projection. In reality, Africa is 14 times the size of Greenland. Gerardus Mercator also placed Western Europe at the center of the map, meaning that the equator actually appeared two-thirds down. No wonder that he has been accused of having a Eurocentric colonialist mentality. A more accurate representation of the world according to geographical size and representation is the Gull Peters projection. The Gull Peters projection is an equal area map projection that depicts all areas as having the correct size in relation to one another. Having a map that displays areas in their correct sizes may seem like an obvious requirement, but actually it is still not widely used. The Gall Peters projection was originally developed by the Scottish cartographer James Gall in 1855. It was widely ignored until the German journalist Arno Peters revived its popularity in the 1970s. Peters criticized the Mercator projection for its cartographic imperialism in depicting developing countries as much smaller than developed countries. He engaged in frequent debates with cartographers, saying that the cartographic profession is, quote-unquote, based on the Eurocentric global concept, incapable of developing this egalitarian world map which alone can demonstrate the parity of all peoples on the earth. Even though his writing resonated with some social justice activists of his time, the Gold Peters projection is still to be adopted by the world. Some progressive entities have officially begun using it, including Oxfam, the New Internationalist, and the US-based National Council of Churches. Their use of the Gold Peters projection is a good start, but it's not enough. We need to make sure this map becomes the universally accepted one throughout the world in order to truly decolonize our worldview. Thank you for watching Sankara Media and stay tuned for our weekly short docs on topics of global social justice.